In my consulting practice, uh, very uh, uh, second, I could say, problem is that people are showing very often, very often, uh, a lot of accumulation of magnesium and calcium. And there is a disturbance between those and other remaining electrolytes, sodium and potassium. Why people have uh, so much magnesium and calcium? There could be a few reasons. But the most important one is that people lacking potassium. So potassium is the mineral which uh, gives those two, magnesium and calcium, a liquid form so it can be absorbed by the body, can be delivered to the cells. Without potassium, we can take, in proportion obviously, uh, without potassium in proportion to magnesium and potassium, we can take supplements as everybody most uh, uh, of today is taking. We can take calcium and we can uh, absolutely uh, not uh, utilize them. Why? Because there is no balance between electrolytes, especially magnesium, calcium, potassium. The sodium-potassium level especially, it is important because it indicates the uh, statue of inflammation in our body, the stage of inflammation. The more is out of balance, the more we can expect some sort of inflammation is taking place in our body and I don't have to remind you that inflammation, that any, any disease, whichever the name is, whatever the name is, begins with inflammation. Therefore, it is important to make sure that the electrolytes are in proportion uh, uh, and there is no other option. If we think healthy, we need to think also about electrolytes in proportion. Thank you very much.